were both standing in your mother's living room, sweating up a storm in that terrible month of June, and the sweat rolled down your cheek and into your mouth, and I knew. This must have been a dream, 'cause your mother would never let me in her house. You are the most beautiful widow. You are the most beautiful widow. Well, many years later, in that glassy month of December, well, I stood with my hands in my pockets, trying to avoid that shiny wedding portrait hanging on that old woman's wall, 'cause I knew you'd be wearing a smile. That'd be too painful to look upon. You are the most beautiful widow. I bet you are the most beautiful widow. I bet you are the most beautiful. Widow in town. Thank you all for the kind words and the welcome backs. I really do appreciate it, and I appreciate you. And I just wanted to touch base on a little bit of that and to kind of tie up some loose ends before Christmas comes around. First and foremost, no, I'm not on suicide watch. Secondly, I am. Um, I had no idea there was there was so much to be said coming back. Once that video hit the 24 minute mark, I just had to be like, all right, um, until next time. And believe me when I say this, there will always be a next time here on this channel or wherever I wind up doing whatever I wind up doing. I don't really know what this is yet. I kind of alluded to that in the last video about getting into projects I didn't know how to start or to finish, but clearly and unbeknownst to me, I, I have a lot to say, so fuck you chicken strips. Fuck you chicken strips! I would be remiss if I didn't mention the extraordinary Sir Duke 58 who was partially the subject of my last video. I didn't plan on talking about any of that at all, but once I got started, I, I just couldn't stop because I just, I think the world of him. Last I heard of Duke was on Facebook, but I haven't been on any social media for like well over a year because, uh. Here's a nice piece of shit. But he seems to be doing really well and he's just so funny with the things he posts on there. I just, I pretty much only ever checked Facebook to see what he had to say. 
Just to put a period on some of my ramblings from last time, I had referred to Duke as some guy, because uh, I was going to make a point that I never circled back around to because, you know, but the point is all of us here are just some guy or some girl or some they or some whatever, you know, you're not Taylor Swift and I'm not Ed Sheeran. Uh, we might put ourselves out there and we might be creative and make music like these, these holier than thou artists, but we do shit we don't want to do. I've worked in law enforcement and in public education, the automotive industry, you know, I don't pay the bills with music. I mean, I used to could pay the cable bill before the um, the 12 month introductory thingy ran out. And Duke is just some guy too, you know, he has a family and he works a normal job and he goes to normal places and does normal things like all us other normies, right? But here's the thing, see, he's just some guy, but he's also, one of the greatest guitarists ever. Isn't that fucking crazy? Like, Jimi Hendrix, Eric Clapton, Prince, Stevie Ray Vaughan, Sir Duke 58 at yahoo.com. And I'm not exaggerating. I mean, I could talk about this till I'm blue in the face. There's just not enough time. But the things he does on guitar, you know, I see it. It's not lost on me. He is consummately the, just the steadiest guitarist I've ever heard in, in a sea of, of one-sided guitarists that just want to be super fast or super technical or super this or super that. Like, like, who gives a shit? Like, he is just on it in a way I've, I've never heard any other guitarist be. I watch his stuff all the time, and, and no, he doesn't get a million views, and he's never been on the Billboard charts, or sold out an arena, or had an article in Pitchfork. It doesn't matter, that doesn't change the way his music makes me feel inside. Some guy. Which brings me to the point I was trying to make, but I never got to. Um, you never know how impactful you might be to someone. Going back to that whole community-driven aspect of YouTube, if, if you're one of those 500 subscribers of mine, there's a really good chance that I'm also subscribed to you. Um, just because over the years, a lot of that has come from us all kind of being musicians on here, and, and maybe we even had a brief exchange or two. I had discussed how it can feel when you put yourself out there and you don't get anything back. And and that wasn't to throw myself a little pity party. I know it sounded very me, 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 but that that wasn't the point. I was being truthful about how I felt in that situation because as, as time has gone by, my subscriber feed has, has gotten a lot thinner. And I've I been mean like real thin. And it, it made me start to think, and, it, and it's kind of a big reason why I even came back. Maybe it's not a coincidence that just like me, so many of you are, are putting your heartfelt and inspired important projects out there for the world to see. And maybe now not so much. And believe me, I understand that life happens. We have bills to pay and obligations to people. Maybe you work a job you hate or two or three and, and certain things just go on the back burner. I mean, there are times in life where they have to. And I'd venture a guess that if you're writing or making music or just any content on any platform, you, you probably have some personal investment in what you're doing. If you stop doing what you're passionate about because life has gotten in the way, I completely understand and I sympathize. But if you've fallen for that trap of, oh, it's time to grow up now and focus on more important things, or, oh, I have financial obligations and all these people who depend on me and I have to give up this thing that I care so much about. Like, you don't have 20 minutes at the end of your day to, to pick up a pen and paper or maybe take your guitar out of its case and play a couple chords and put it back. You're just hard line, this is my life now. I've had experiences with so many people in life over the years who have just tricked themselves into thinking that, you know, this box that society wants to put me in, yeah, this is who I am now, I fit this bill. And you, you need to get on board. You need to learn how to be a team player because honey, that's just the way life is and you need to get used to it. Fuck off, dude. <laughs> Life is not as static as some people would lead you to believe. And I, I'm shitting on that because I did that for a very long time, a, a lot longer than I care to admit. And if, if that's where you are right now, I'm just telling you flat out, it's not sustainable. If you let life push you in directions that you're gonna kick and scream about, you should probably listen to that kicking and screaming. It's probably trying to tell you something. And if you don't listen, then someday that kicking and screaming might go away and you, you might find it 
took you with it. Um, it just seems like I'm not the only one out there who feels unheard or self-conscious or doubtful about their passions in life. If you're one of those subscribers of mine who's also a musician and, and maybe you posted a video once that it only got one like, there's a pretty good chance it was probably me because I love stuff like that. Don't think that people aren't listening because you're not any good or what you're doing isn't important. I had talked about how everyone seems to love my uh, cover music and no one ever listens to my original music. Well, yeah, no shit. I mean, <laughs> you don't know who I am. I can remember playing sets where everyone would love the music that they knew and as soon as I played my original music, you know, that was kind of the cue to, to go take a piss. Keep doing what you're doing because you want to do it, you know? Be that falling tree in the woods that, that no one's around to hear. We're going to talk a lot more about this idea of success going forward, but I just wanted to end by saying as, as long as you're doing what you feel passionate about doing in life and you're doing your best, then you are a success. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I thought that nobody cared, right? That's what I said in my video the other day. Um, and after I posted that, I immediately got this reply. Hey, I watched your video back in 2012. I remember thinking how cool this is and how beautiful it sounds, and I wanted to play this. I wanted to make this beautiful sound with guitar as well, so I convinced my parents to get me a guitar, and I started getting guitar lessons. Now I'm 22 years old, and I've been playing guitar ever since. I come back to this channel every year to check out your videos, especially the Christmas one. Thanks a lot for gifting me the inspiration to start guitar. I really appreciate you more than you think. Some guy.